What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Lucy Rod 254, man. You're tuning in for another one. Wide angle, still in full effect. Blood is gonna hit my head. Blood is a little adapter, man. If you need this, and you buy the M50, give me my uh, DMs or fucking, I'll put it in a link in the description below because this shit is hot, both ways. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we got some stuff in today. I ordered two different uh, starter switches. Uh, I decided to not go with the one that was. Uh, I decided to not go with the one that had more electronical stuff that could probably go wrong. And I decided to just go with the old fashioned racing switch. for the starter. Um, so I'm headed to UPS so that I can return. I need to return this stuff to the UPS store. And then I need to also um, swing by the job and get some stuff. So I'm about to drive first and then I'll come back to the fucking UPS. Even though it's right there, but people are driving stupid. So, cut y'all back on when I get up out of here. Um, but yeah, this is Switch I'm gonna go with. It's safe for racing only. We only really gonna be using this button right here. That way we can start it off. We're gonna wire directly to the starter. And then um, but we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the ignition. We're gonna keep the ignition in the actual column for now. Uh, maybe down the line we'll swap it out. We'll see. So now we'd have made it to the now we'd have made it to the U up store. But I have to run in here, return this stuff. So what we were turning is the the wide angle that didn't fit. It's a wide angle that didn't fit this lens or fit this camera. And then we also were turning that uh the push button start. And then we were turning the uh, little filters here. So let me uh go return this stuff man and I'll cut your back on. Alright y'all, so we leaving from UPS and I had to go back by the store to uh, pick up <clears throat> one more thing. Uh, it's kind of shit, man. I'm trying to wait till the sun go down so I can uh, go and get this work done. Uh, the, what do you call them? So yeah, I know they sell like the little ferrules by themselves. For that oil line, oil pressure line kit, uh, I don't have it by myself. So, I don't have the part number of the ferrules or whatever by itself. So, I just buy a whole nother kit because I work there in discounts and time and all that shit. Uh, so, grab that so I can fix this uh, pressure 
line, the oil line, uh, the oil pressure line, because it's leaking um, inside, well, not inside the car, but it's leaking uh, at the top of the block. <clears throat> and it's running down, just, just running all down the, the transmission bell housing and all of that, man. So it's, it's a mess. Um, I thought it was something else. I thought it was like around the pan, but it wasn't the pan. It was the oil thing back there. So um, I pulled that thing out and then uh, put the new one back on there and go from there. Uh, the, <clears throat> what I am going to do differently, though, this time is I'm going to use the... Uh, I'm going to use the, uh, what do you call it? I'm gonna take the intake off. Um, take the intake off and do it. That way I got more room to kind of get in there and get it exactly good how I need to get it. Uh, disadvantage of having larger hands, man, is them, them spots back there is like mad tight. Mad tight, so get in there, get it tightened down. That way we're not losing oil, having to keep putting oil in the engine. You know what I'm saying that we race track ready, baby. Race track ready. So uh, it's about 5:30 now. I don't know what. <clears throat> But it's 5.30 and it says it's 100 degrees. So, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what time we gonna actually jump this off because I don't wanna lie to you. Just know, just know that we gonna get it done. How about that? Know and trust and believe that we will get it done. You know what I'm saying? That we will. So, catch y'all back on when it's done. All right, y'all. So we is we is back. We is back at the house. I mean, you can just look at it. I heard. Don't it look? Don't it look like it's fucking hundred degrees? Uh, played a little bit of musical cars today. Got the uh, got a C10 over here, and then we got a uh, trifecta sitting over there, and then we pull the cuts up here. Like I said, man, it's got a real, real bad oil leak <clears throat> coming from that oil pressure port in the back of the block. So I bought the the equals oil pressure tubing with the brass furrows. I really just need the furrows to redo that one behind the, to, I just need to do, redo the furrows behind the, uh, what you call, <clears throat> behind the intake. But I just bought the pack. Uh, I also got what I needed for my race car switch which is right here. So, you just need the, like the flat shaped ones, that's shaped like a pitchfork. And I got some wire. So yeah, I got the ones that's shaped like a pitchfork. They can get in there, bing bong, hold it down, and then the one that's gonna go on the uh, starter, terminal the starter solenoid terminal itself so like I said after the cool down man we'll, we'll bring you back after these messages that wide angle though Woo I'm like right up on the car but I got the whole car it's distorted just a little bit but I ain't pay I ain't pay that money I ain't pay that money yeah, it's perfect for the car show. It's perfect for the car show. Yeah. 
So yeah, as you can already see, uh, I already started pulling stuff off of here. Um, basically, we're just letting it cool off. I mean, it didn't run for a long time, but <clears throat> yeah, so it's probably, to the touch, it's probably good. Um, and being that I can hide up under the hood, I might can go ahead and knock this out. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, let me see if I can show y'all. I mean, y'all know where the y'all know where the oil pressure port is at, right? Yeah, right there. That's where it's leaking from. Right down there. Uh, hopefully, it'll be pretty simple. I mean, it's not. It's not loose to the point where I can just pull pull it out. Oh, I lied. <laughs> I lied. Definitely just pull that shit out. <laughs> Definitely just pulled it out. So. Yeah, I guess I gonna get started on it. All right, y'all, so. We have successfully wrapped up. Uh, I ain't tidy nothing up yet. I just <laughs> ran the wire to the starter. This is a little yellow wire there. It's going across the back, out the way of the headers, etc., etc. Uh, I actually tapped it. Actually tapped it into like actual, like constant battery power because I don't want it to never not start or get stupid uh so yeah uh but yeah but there she is there she is like i said i don't know where i'm gonna mount it at but it works Then you can turn your key on. And you good to go. That should be a nice little, that should be a nice peace of mind that we don't have to worry about it not trying to start on us no more. Let's race, reach over to our race button. We ain't wiring none of that in yet, but. So, this should never be a problem for us again. Uh, I'm gonna tidy up the wires. Uh, I'm trying to see if maybe I could put it like over here. Uh, but I already got the AM wideband there. I don't think it would work right there. Uh, but you never know. But yeah. Cranking. It'll crank with no keys in it. <laughs> so. Should be good to go on that. Let it run a little bit. We also was fixing on the uh, where that leak was.
So it looks like we fixed we fixed the leak and we got our starter thing fixed. So good to go. Good to go. Tune in next time. It's your boy LS Seven Ride Two Five Four. Remember, identify your weaknesses, make it your strength. Life without by choice, choose wisely, and productivity over procrastination. Gone.